oh, out on a walk <laughs> with the dogs or a, a drag, as it were. Uh, tonight is Banner Night. This is going to be the first experience taking mom to somewhere out of the house. Um, she is, uh, there's a landlord's meeting, the Landlord's Association in Bemidji, which she's a part of, and uh, she wants to go to the meeting, so we're going to go. And this will be her first time off of the machine for any length of time. And with an oxygen tank. Howdy! Sorry, what? Yeah, I love those. Very good. I'm looking forward to it. They do uh, Christmas decorations. They have won the last few years in a row. There's a competition. Uh, so anyway, first uh, first time we're going to take mom on the oxygen tank outside of coming home from the hospital. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm going to keep walking the dogs. Catch up later. So, uh, filming this one a second time because <laughs> uh, I deleted the first one. Ah, <sighs> where to begin? All right. Yesterday. Yesterday was kind of a tough day. Uh, we have now hit the memory loss portion of our broadcasting day. She had four good episodes yesterday. The first one was, well, uh, she has a, a home health aide. There's there's like three people that come to visit. There's the, the hospice nurse. Uh, there is another hospice volunteer that's not a nurse but can still do some things and comes to spend time. And then there's a volunteer that comes to help her with showers, that kind of thing. It works out pretty good. So yesterday was shower day. Uh, this woman helped her with the shower. Everything was fine. This woman then put her clothes in the laundry. Makes total sense. Uh, mom freaked out. And it was after this woman had gone, mom went to check on the laundry and she was freaked out. And she beeped me and I ran upstairs and she was freaking out over the laundry and she is I said what's wrong and she was then she screwed it all up the washer and the dryer are running and I can't get them to stop and so I reached down and I hit the pause button and she goes no 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 what what is the problem and she couldn't really articulate it and I said okay oh and then then she says did you have to set this knob to the right place? And yeah, that's part of how you run the washer. And so I said, okay, right now it's set on a normal wash. The cycle is going fine. I just paused it. Is that okay? And she's going, yeah, yeah, that's okay. So I restarted it. And she stood and looked at it for a while. And she said, I'm losing parts of my memory. Okay. There were a couple of others that were relatively minor. You know, things like she had told me about something and then turned around 30 seconds later and told me the exact same thing. Uh, it happens once in a while, but it's, you know, those I kind of write off pretty well. Um, the other one was when she was trying to find the keys to the safe. Uh, I had to move the safe because it was... Well, it was under her bed, and when I took out the bed and everything, I had to make room for the new hospital bed. Uh, so I moved it, and I moved it down into my closet downstairs, because that's a much safer place. There's nobody that comes down here, <laughs> um, especially with the dogs. Uh, and I told her I was going to do that. And so she's like, well, where's the safe? Where's the safe? I said, well, I put it down in my room. I told you about that. Don't you remember? She goes, oh, you put it in your closet? I said, yes. She goes, well, where are the keys? I said, I didn't touch the keys. Keys are still where you left them. 
So I can't find them. So I went looking for them in the place that she said they were, and of course they weren't there. Now these are small keys. This is it's a fire safe. It's not like a big, you know, honking, you know, ooh safe. It's it's a kind of thing where you put papers and and stuff to, in case there's a fire. Uh, and she couldn't find the key. She didn't. You know, she was insisting that someone had come in and stolen her keys. And I'm, I'm just okay, you know. I just let her go with it. I I know, mom. This is this is a thing that's she's gonna go through for a while. And so you know, it's like, well, maybe we'll find them somewhere. Maybe we'll they're in a different drawer or something. She goes, no, oh, somebody came in and took them. Who in their right mind would come in and steal from an old lady? It's like. And so I went back down, did some work, uh, fed the dogs, came up to, uh, I think, make lunch. And she, she jumped on me. She's like, when you, when you came to pick me up at the hospital and you left the garage door open, somebody could have come in there and gone in and stolen the keys. And that's probably what happened. And I'm like, all right, why would someone come in and steal a pair of keys to something that they don't have access to and not steal anything else. Why would they not go through other drawers and find all the valuables that you've got hidden in the, in the places? Why didn't they steal the TV? Why would someone come in and just take these two keys? And she kind of sat back. I said, I think they're probably in a different place somewhere. We don't know where. It's okay. Oh, one of the other things was she was, she found the copy of um, the codicil to the will. It was basically assigning me uh, power of attorney and representation of her estate and everything. Executor. And she saw that it hadn't been signed. So she started freaking out. Was like, well, do I have to sign this? Is this something I have to sign to get back into the lawyer? And I'm like, no, I don't think so. This is a copy of what they sent you. Well, would you check with the lawyer? Check with the lawyer and make sure. And it's like, okay. So I had to go down to the lawyer's office anyway and check. And uh, I had to pick up all the, the files and everything. We had them look through. And it's like, I don't think now. But this, is, this was a copy that they mailed. It was folded into thirds. It was, you know, they've got the original there. She signed it months ago when I was here on a previous visit. So, you know, it's like she doesn't listen to me. She wants me to, to go ahead and do these things. And then she was upset because there was a bill from the lawyer. And she was like, well, what is this bill for? I'm like, well, we had them go through these papers to identify, the, you know, what was going on with it because we had these questions. She's like, oh. And then she forgot again. She's like, why is this, why is this bill? Because we asked a lawyer to do a legal thing and we got charged for it and it's well worth the money. <sighs> so yesterday was tense. Today was better. Uh, took mom to the landlord. It's, it's a landlord's association. It's basically a, a, a group of people in the Bemidji community that are landlords that are standing up for, um, standing up for landlord rights, which, I, yes, it's a thing. Uh, everyone there is a mom and pop landlord that have you know like a house that they rent. You know there are a couple that have a couple houses, but you know this is this is an organization that when the city writes an ordinance that they want to enforce for landlords, they come back and say, well, no, this puts us at a very bad position. You know, it was like one thing that came up, you know, makes the landlord responsible for the tenant and any guests and anything that happens. And like, no, we can't have that. That's you know, the responsibility part. No, because that's going to open us up to um, civil penalties if something happens. It just blows the door wide open. 
So uh, that's one thing that's being fought. And there have been some others, but they also work really closely with the city council to propose legislation. And these are these are landlords that are legitimately good people that want. I mean, they have their houses in in top shape. There's uh, all the um, inspection requirements. They've worked with the inspectors to to go through and make sure that these requirements are done. Um, they strive to. Um, push the enforcement of some of these uh, rental rules that are, or, you know, these ordinances that are not being, are not, you know, there's no follow through on a lot of these. And there are a number of problem rental properties. And it's like, if you're not going to enforce these, don't put new, don't make new ones. It, much more complicated than that, but it was really interesting. And I think I'm probably going to go to further meetings. Um, they, they happen like when I, every couple of months, but it was really interesting to see the process and to learn more about the the city government and the uh, everybody knows everybody here. <laughs> it's a little spooky, you know. It's like. Everybody on the city council, they know first name basis. And it's like, oh, yeah. That, that. Um, and I thought that was really interesting. It's really refreshing to see after coming from Minneapolis and the whole uh, frou-frou down there. Um, it was interesting. I'm probably going to go again. I'm working. I uh, started this week. I am back actually working. I'm not quite full-time yet. Uh, mostly because, well, it's a it's a new project or it's one that's being, it's all coming together new. So it's new tools. Um, we're the guinea pig for a couple of major changes in the in the structure of how things go together. And it's it's changes that I like. I think are good. But there are going. We're the pilot. We're the guinea pig, so I get to make mistakes, <laughs> legitimately. Um, it feels good to get back in the saddle again. Oh, it feels good. Oh, uh, let's see. Went grocery shopping today. Uh, I was why I didn't get a full time in today because uh, mom sent me grocery shopping at. Uh, I think it was, I think I left at eight o'clock in the morning to get down there to make sure that I got in for all the, uh, well, this stuff is, this stuff is going to expire tomorrow. So we have to sell it cheap. Um, and so did that and she had a, a whole shopping list that she did where she, you know, went through and found all the stuff that was on sale. So I went through and found all that and on a total of $50, it was $30 savings. And she was just woohoo about that and this is the same person that I threw away five trash bags full of stuff from her refrigerator but these are legitimate things that we're going to use so okay I also got a few things myself that I'm gonna kind of sneak in to spice up her uh, spice up her palate a little bit oh, got some got another pie uh, Got some mango juice. She, you know, she drinks watered down juice during the day, so a little mango juice to add to the mixture. Um, this is our first trip to. Well, this is our first trip outside of the house since she's come back from the uh, from the hospital, and it went well. Um, got her swapped into the oxygen tank in seconds. Um, she was able to tool around with just the oxygen tank, not using her walker. She's she's doing fine. Uh, there's some deterioration, you know, as to be expected. But honestly, she's she's kicking. She's still kicking like mad, and I'm letting her do stuff. I mean, she, you know, it's like, like. You want to go down the stairs with this oxygen tank? Why don't you go ahead and try? I'll be here. So she you know, gets down the stairs with the oxygen tank, 
tools over to the car. She gets in the car. She opens the door by herself. It's like, yeah, you know, you do all these things. I want you to be independent. And she is. She is a very fierce woman. It's a good word for her. Uh, oh, I'm going to be here for a while. Making some improvements to the uh, to the apartment <clears throat> to make my life easier. I'm going to be making things. I'm making a crock pot of chili. Well, it's a small crock pot, but I'm making chili or sort of chili. It's in that throw everything together into the pot kind of chili. Still chili, but uh, the dogs are nutballs, but they were very good by themselves tonight. They didn't destroy anything. They didn't get into anything. Um, and while I was gone doing the shopping today, they went upstairs and just hung around with mom. So it's all going pretty well. I need to take them to the dog park again. It's been raining here, so I haven't. And boy, do they need to play. <sighs> all right. I think that's it for tonight. Um, try and get another one in tomorrow. I, I don't know. It's, I'm going to try and do this every day, but I can't guarantee it. Like last night, I, I zonked at like 8 o'clock. I was poof, horizontal. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do tonight. I'm not sleepy right now. And I'm grabbing a snack before bed. But I don't know. I guess we'll see how it goes. Every day. Just day at a time. Hour at a time sometimes. <sighs> All right. See you guys. Batan. Batan. <laughs>